of Paulus' letters, Prostessalonikes, the first, chapter 4. Finally then, brothers, we are asking you and we are exhorting you in Lord Yeshua, so that, just as ye received from us the how it is being necessary ye to be walking and to be pleasing to God, even just as ye are walking, so that ye may be abounding even more. For ye know what charges we gave you through the Lord Yeshua. For this is the God's will, your sanctification, to be keeping away from the sexual sin. Each one of you to know the way to be possessing the vessel of himself in sanctification and in honor. Not in the passion of desire, even as the ones of the nations, the ones not having known the God. The not to be overstepping and to be coveting from his brother in the matter. Because Lord Yahweh is an avenger concerning all these things. Just as also we forewarned you and solemnly affirmed. For the God called us not for uncleanness, but in sanctification. Therefore the one disregarding such a thing is disregarding not a man, but the God, the one even giving his Holy Spirit into you. But concerning the love of the brothers, ye are having not a need for us to be writing to you, for ye yourselves are being ones taught of God to be mindfully loving each other. For indeed ye are doing it toward all the brothers in all the Macedonia, but we are exhorting you, brothers, to be abounding even more, and to be being ambitious, to be being tranquil, and to be effectuating each one his own things, and to be working with your own hands, just as we commanded you, so that ye may be going about decently toward the ones outside, and should be having a need of nobody. But we are not wanting you to be being without knowledge, brothers, concerning the ones being put to sleep, so that ye should not be grieving, just as also the rest, the ones not possessing hope. For if we are believing that Yeshua died and he rose again, likewise also the ones having been put to sleep through Yeshua shall the God bring with him. For this thing we are saying to you by a word of Lord Yahweh, that we, the ones living, the ones surviving into the arrival of the Lord, should certainly not precede the ones having been put to sleep. For the Lord himself, by a loud order, by a voice of an ark messenger, and by a trump of God, shall descend from sky, and the dead ones in anointed shall rise first. Then we, the ones living, the ones surviving, together with him shall be snatched away in clouds, into a meeting of the Lord, into midair. And thus always with the Lord shall we be. So then, be ye encouraging each other with these words.